a lizard just run across the floor and I'm, my heart stopped. No. Okay, that's a great start to the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is Saturday, May 8th, and I'm planning on doing a little weekend in my life. I was planning on doing that last weekend and I did film some stuff, but I really wasn't vibing with the video. Just, you know, I felt like this weekend was gonna be a bit more eventful, so why not just do it over? But I'll roll the clips from last weekend, so enjoy and I'll get back to you. So first things first on today's agenda is I'm stopping at the farmer's market, craft market, whatever you want to call it, on Barbican. It's in the 22 Jerk parking lot and it's across from Burger King and I actually went last weekend and they have a few things but I'm really going to pick up a Nettie's Farm package, a Mother's Day little bundle that they're doing for my grandma and if they have any extra I might actually get for my aunt. But yeah, I, I'm literally obsessed with them. I write about them all the time on my blog and their energy bites are literally to die for. But I'm not sure what I'm gonna get my mom tomorrow for Mother's Day. I don't know, not that she's hard to shop for, but I feel like I always knew that she loves stationery, so I would always just get her stationery and now she has too much stationery. So maybe I'll pick up a cute succulent or something. They had a few of those at the farmer's market, but yeah i feel i feel discombobulated if that's the right word like i really don't know but yeah maybe i'll find something downtown we're going downtown afterwards to shoot some content or whatever i have to shoot some for an upcoming blog post i wonder if i should say what it's about i don't know i don't know when it'll come out so i don't want to like spoil it or or is that building hype i don't know so I'm planning on doing a blog post on all about mural culture and street art in Kingston and I've been working on it for a while so I had to shoot some content downtown because as you guys know downtown is like the artistic hub and creative capital well Kingston is a capital but you know what I mean of the city so I'm going down there to do that and I'm happy because I was planning to do that last weekend but plans kind of fell through but the real reason we're going down is because Emma my sister has to shoot content for her brand joined feeling little plug just adding a little plug it's gonna be a fun productive day and I just love going downtown because it just makes me feel more creative and inspired and I just love the atmosphere down there and I yeah 10 out of 10 so yeah i'm very excited and i also feel less stressed because the curfew has been extended a bit weekend lockdown curfew whatever you want to call it so for the past few weekends it's been four o'clock on saturdays and it's finally six o'clock which it's that sounds so ridiculous to be praising for an extra two hours but it just means that we can spend a bit more time downtown and not have to feel as stressed having to come back in with the traffic and then Sunday is the same 2 p.m. so so I go I have to go now but first I have to feed my puppy I got a puppy guys <laughs> he's literally sleeping as I'm filming this but I've adopted a dog a few weeks ago his name is Oscar affectionately known as Ozzy and he's a Catahoula German Shepherd mix I don't know whatever you want to call him But yeah, I'm excited to bring you guys along and hopefully this video will be way more eventful than whatever I tried to shoot last weekend, so yeah. Find myself falling and falling, crawling better. Find myself falling and falling. Baby, hate how it can trust me, someone told me. Just to consume with my phone, help me. I can use to bring somebody, give me peace of mind, cause every night I find myself falling and falling, crawling back to find myself falling and falling, crawling back to find myself falling and falling. 
Hello everyone, happy Sunday. I am back on the floor. I don't know why I'm feeling such a floor vibe in this video, but you know what, we're gonna roll with it. I figured to round off this weekend vlog, I could do a little Q&A. So last weekend on my stories, I asked for some questions and I realized that there are a lot of repeated or similar questions. So I figured I'd just compile them and answer them here. I'm gonna try not to bust airs, but no promises. I cannot control myself sometimes, but yeah let's try and do it rapid fire okay do you plan on leaving jamaica or are you back home for good i've been home for over a year so i am back home for good that was my plan following graduation it was very fulfilling living away from home and i learned some things about myself that i wouldn't have if i stayed in jamaica but i really do love living in jamaica it's just on the circumstances that i moved home you know in this transitional period of during corona following graduation and life just isn't normal so to speak it's just been a bit weird and it obviously wasn't what i expected but i'm enjoying being here spending time with my friends my family and same way that living abroad taught me things about myself being back home has taught me so many things about myself yeah so never say never i've always wanted to live in another caribbean island if it's for a few months or even a year or whatnot but yeah i guess we'll see but as of now i'm back home my next question is what's your favorite parish it's hard to pinpoint one because i feel like every time i travel to a new one or revisit one it changes but i would say that portland mm, is just always high up there always there's something about portland it's magical and you just feel at peace and i just feel inspired and just at one with nature and life and i don't know the people are just so warm in portland i love portland also saint elizabeth in my blog post i said it was jamaica's best kept secret and i really do think that because something about that parish i think there's a lot to discover there's tons of hidden gems and I don't know there's that energy in saint elizabeth and treasure beach that it's just it's unmatched i love it down there i really want to go back soon someone said where do you want to go next on the island i feel like whenever i'm traveling to mobe i'm passing through it could be a day trip it could be for some fest and i feel like i just need to explore it better so mobe for sure but in terms of like little things there's tons of hotels i want to visit i want to go to goldeneye i want to go to g jam i love their new rooms that they did i want to do like tons of experiences i want to go to stush in the bush i've been dying i'm like begging my friends i really want to visit montego bay animal haven because they have a hike with the dogs and i think it would just be a great experience and i would love to learn more about their organization next question is which local brand would you love to work with there are tons you guys know i love promoting local brands especially jamaican made brands and i always look forward to working with them and i won't name them because i'm manifesting it i put it out into the universe and i'm gonna let the universe do its thing but yeah i just love jamaican made brands i love sustainable brands any brand that aligns with me and just like my content i'm down to work with you know what i mean seriously ozzy ozzy is literally devouring a newspaper no newspaper formed against ozzy shall prosper honestly two hours later somebody asked three tips on starting a channel and i'd say one just do it if you're contemplating starting a channel why not pursue it i know that personally what ifs always haunt me so yeah why not just try it out and if it's for you it's for you and if it's not then you'll find your thing two i'd say practice makes perfect i really believe in this i've been editing and just practicing creating content for so long when i was 12 i'd make little videos and they were so cringe and my friends know exactly what videos i'm talking about but yeah practice makes perfect work on your craft work on your skills and just step into your own as a creator develop your own voice your own style and it will be so rewarding and a personal testament to this with practice makes perfect is me with talking to the camera sometimes i feel very uncomfortable i stammer over my words i can't really think straight and you know hopefully a year from now from doing uncomfortable things like doing more talking videos i'll be able to talk without having to edit and splice up the raw footage three i'd say take pride in your work it's something i live by and it can also be my own downfall sometimes because i only want to produce content i'm proud of i only want to execute and publish content that at the end of the day i'm like yes i love this and sometimes that does mean 
I won't upload because I'll be my harshest critic. So there is a balance and I need to find that balance. Practice makes perfect or whatever. But yeah, always put out content that makes you happy, that you're proud of, that you feel confident in and it will pay off. Your viewers, people watching, if you're looking for collaborations, brands will notice. And yeah, just take pride in your work. Do you have any unreleased vlogs that didn't make it? Yes. I wouldn't say necessarily that it's full vlogs I didn't release. It's just like clips that didn't really make it to a vlog because it didn't really fit the plot or the storyline of that vlog or it was just from a random day and it was too short to be a vlog so i actually have a few unseen bits videos i call it that i have two i think it was from summer 2019 and then my university montreal kind of video so if you guys want another unseen bits video let me know i'll do it when i have enough footage to make it whole somebody asked what apps i use for editing when it comes to stories and ig pics so i have so many apps on my phone i feel like i only use five so for my feed posts, I use Lightroom. I have presets that I usually just adjust depending on the picture. So I'm not really that good at editing photos. I wish I was. I really want to work on that as a skill. But yeah, I use presets. And then for stories, I use Visco or Lightroom and kind of just edit by hand. Is that a thing? I don't know. I won't use presets for those. And then when you want to like make it cute and use all the graphics and whatnot, I'll use Canva because I use it a lot for work so I feel very comfortable. And if I do use apps, I'll use Story Art or Unfold. But yeah, all of these apps take up so much space on my phone and I barely use them, but yeah, pretty basic. I'm a pretty basic girl. And the final question, last but not least, is what video editing software do you use and source of your music? Hashtag awesome quality and content. Stop it. I actually use iMovie. I have a Mac, so that's what comes with the computer. I've been editing on iMovie for a while, like since I was a teenager, so I feel pretty comfortable with it. But that being said, iMovie can be very restrictive. It's very limiting. So I usually have to like take back end routes, like finesse with green screens and all of that but i usually just youtube like imovie editing hacks yeah i use imovie so no fancy editing software i would love to learn one day but as of now i'm pretty comfortable with imovie i must admit so yeah and then i get this question so much in regards to the music i use thematic it's a website where i think small musicians and artists put their music on there copyright free in hopes of exposure when people use it for instagram and youtube it's so funny because i realize i never reuse the same music because when i'll go through like my downloaded songs from thematic when i hear one of the old songs from a vlog it just instantly transport me back to that vlog and what i was feeling so music is very important to me when it comes to setting the tone for vlog and i'll literally sit down on thematic for hours just going through the new releases the new songs and yeah thematic really is amazing i know there is other websites similar to thematic i think endemic sound is one of them but thematic is usually what i gravitate towards and it really has been a lifesaver because the copyright thing on youtube is just it's that but yeah i think that's all the questions i had prepared for this video so i want to end it here just nice and sweet and thank you guys so much for watching it and sticking around i know the upload times are frustrating i feel frustrated with myself please subscribe if you're not subscribed already and follow me on all socials and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i appreciate and love every one of you and i hope you guys are keeping safe and doing well later Bye.